welcome back to Las Vegas for our coverage of the Gamma Trade Show 2017. I'm Eric Summer here with Daniel from Eagle Griffin Games. Hi, Daniel. Hello. And we're looking at uh, an upcoming game from Eagle Griffin. And this is this is all prototype. This is early version components. Uh, art is still being worked on, but the name you figured out the name. The Scarlet Pimpernel. The Scarlet Pimpernel. Tell us about this one. So uh, Scarlet Pimpernel is uh, from classic literature. Uh, he holds the historical recognition of being the first masked hero in all of history. So uh, we wanted to tell that story. We we picked up this game from from Brian Kelly, and and he did a really really great job. Uh, this is going to be a uh, a lightweight euro mm -hmm. um, game. Um, it, as the story goes. Uh, during the French Revolution, uh, the the French revolutionaries were were killing the royals, uh, royalty, and uh, uh, the Scarlet Pimpernel, uh, Sir uh, Percy Blakeney, was uh, wanted to do something about that and save save these this royalty uh, for better or worse, right? Okay. And so. Um, he devised a plan to have a trusted group of advisors and uh, travel from uh, uh, England to France, Paris, Austria, okay. uh, to save these ro royals. And uh, so you are actually in this game taking the role of these trusted advisors. Um, and the beauty about this game is that it plays very much like a co-op until it doesn't. Okay. Yes. So throughout the game, you're trying to create a pathway, for instance, from one, uh, one uh, starting position to a following uh, mission location. So you'll be placing cubes. The very basic action would be move your meeple or uh, place a cube. Uh, that is a very simple starting action. Mm -hmm. As you uh, place cubes, for instance, in these areas, which will uh, I'll explain in just a moment, mm -hmm. you will actually add to your uh, abilities to to do uh, very special uh, specialized actions um, instead of the basic action. Okay. Okay. So uh, the way the rules go, you can place a cube in, for instance, anywhere where your meeple is. So let's say I'm the green player, I'll be able to place a meeple there or a cube there. And then uh, you can also place a cube here, for instance, may maybe a little more strategic, okay. building that route. Um, as you are playing the game, you're also going to be able to uh, place uh, cubes here. This is the rest location. That would be uh, bank a move, so you can then use it later. Okay. You can also place a colonist. You can also place a horse, cart, uh, riding, and uh, uh, masks. Okay. Okay. So. What you're going for in placing all of these cubes, uh, like I said, you have the pathway to the mission. You also have the required colonists for the mission. So there's four. There's uh, three horses required, one cart, two ridings, and one mask. So this, this, we need to do all of those things collectively in order for that mission to succeed. Okay. okay. You can also place a cube in any one of these locations. What you're doing in placing a cube in those locations is progressing the, the end of the round, okay? But you're also claiming that that one is going to be successful. You know that, that you're okay. gonna get enough colonists. All right. Or you also are wanting to be in charge of which cubes come down because that is gonna be what determines your points. All right, Okay. so if more than enough, if you have more than enough colonists. Right you would be deciding right. which colonists are exactly. going on the mission and therefore who's scoring points. Exactly, so we only need four colonists. And now we have way too many. There's a lot of and colonists. And if I happen to place here, there would be no red colonists going of on this mission. Of course not, why would there why be? Why would there be, exactly. Right. That is where this a whole comes down to. It's, it's, it's cooperative, we want to complete the mission until it's not when you're trying to uh, end the mission. You could potentially fail a mission or portion of a mission, um, the way that works is, let's say we only got one horse. I've claimed that we are going to get m as many horses as we need. Mm -hmm. uh, we need These are three. collectively, uh, so the brown uh, resources are collectively uh, counted. Ah. So I need all of these to succeed in order for this one to succeed. If it doesn't succeed, what happens is I still get to pick which cubes come out. So let's just say this was a a terrible round and we only got this one cube. That's a terrible I will, round. Yeah, I'll put pull this one down. That's I still get that choice. But then this goes down here and I do not get the points as it filters through to point totals. Gotcha. So the actual points are going to be the the, the So we've got like a, a flow chart here Correct. and this is where you score points but you bypass that. Do not yes. pass go, do not collect. Exactly. Points. Exactly, okay. exactly. So uh, this one is just uh, collect uh, take the first player marker. Uh, this one is uh, 
signified by this guy here, which you'll also want to fill. Okay, so you'll want to fill all these guys. What happens when you place a cube on an actual city is you just trigger that action, so you'll place a secondary cube here. Right, so this was the colonist action, and I get to place an, an extra cube there. Okay. Okay, so you can double up on cube placement. Um, one variant I am definitely going to uh, mention, because it's my favorite way to play, is this is uh, Shavalin. He is the... Uh, chief of public safety and he is uh, pursuing the scarlet pimpernel and trying to find out uh, who he is and trying okay. to arrest him all right so he's gonna have a villain in a hero story yes exactly uh so you can um uh have a a, a variant where if any of these fail however many of these fails shovelin will jump from one location to the next so let's say we're on uh we'll say we're, we're on the the third mission here, okay? Or we're headed to the third mission. Okay, we're right? actually gonna slide this up, we're talking about. Oh, sorry. We have such a large board, we have to keep sliding it okay, up and down to make sure you no can worries. see everything. So, okay, so let's say we're, we're trying to get from here to here. It fails uh, by, we'll say, three, okay? So let's say this is the first time we've ever failed. He jumps one, two, and three, and he catches the Scarlet Pimpernel because he has not succeeded in... Oh, no. He's, he's caught him. Uh, so... So the game's over? No. Oh. What's, hap what's going to happen next is instead of pursuing the next round, we are going to actually have to rescue collectively, again, going back to co-op, we're going to have to collectively rescue the Scarlet Pimpernel from the Temple Prison. Uh, Shavlin returns to the House of Justice, and very thematic uh, approach to, to the, the cat and mouse. Okay. Yeah, uh, this game plays uh, one to six players. It's uh, one to six. There's, yes, there is a, a solo variant in, uh, in place. Um, you'll see that in the campaign, which is going to be we're thinking August. August will be when when it's okay. ready to go. Uh, so we have a, we're we're working on this uh, a lot. We have a lot of artwork that's going to be coming out in the following months, and we're really excited about this one. Uh, end game is triggered on the final mission to yes, Vienna? The fin yes, the end game is always uh, to Vienna. Uh, what happens actually is during the, the sixth mission, some some uh, players will will come here early and start seeding their cubes in anticipation of the uh, last mission, which is pretty fun to see. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's, it's, it's fun to, to see that happen. Excellent. Daniel, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the Scarlet Pimpernel. Uh, going on a campaign, you said, in August. Yeah, that's our plan for August. So we'll, we'll see more from this one very soon. Thank you for watching.